right, we have here a Merit's Dueler, the P312 with the seat lift. This is a power chair, the Merit's P312 with the seat lift in the box. This is the way it would be delivered if you ordered one where it's still in the box. So the first thing you would do is get yourself a good box cutter, cut the yellow straps off. Sometimes they're already cut off when you get them. Cut your straps off, open your box like this, and like that, and like this. And then inside the box, you will see. So when you have the box open, you can see your seat is upside down, but there's a bunch of parts. So what you will do, you will pull these box out that have parts in them out of the chip, out of the box. So you'll put them here on the ground, left of your box. Okay, and then you'll grab your seat right here. The seat is not light, okay? Okay, there's your seat right there. Put the seat down over here. And then there's a box here also with parts in it that was sitting at the end of the chair. That's probably your arms. And then if you look inside the box again, there's not a whole lot left. You have your covers here. So here is your other covers. This is the blue part. Right now the chair is red, but if you want it in blue, everything is in this bag right here for the blue part of it, okay? So, because this chair comes in two colors. So now inside this box, you have a liner right here. You can see it right here all the way around. So it's easier sometimes to just pull that liner out. You have to do it from both sides. There's little handles here, perforate them. Pull the liner out. And then you're gonna use, what I usually do is take my box cutter knife, and this is the best way to do it. Open the box there. So if you have a good box cutter, this would not happen. There's your chair, okay? Now I usually do, Now we've got the base. I'm gonna take this little protective cover that goes over the seat post right here. I'm gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the foot plate. I like to rip stuff. So I'll put that over here. Oh yeah, there's a foot plate on both ends on this chair. So, all right, so now, you got your chair on here, it won't move because it's in gear. But now that we have the seat off, you can see the neutral levers on both sides. Okay, one here, one here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to turn them sideways. And sometimes you have to shake the chair. There you go, you got to shake it. Now the chair is in neutral. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab the foot plate in front, and I'm going to pull it towards me. Off the, off, off the pallet. Now what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put it back in gear. Okay, so we want, we want this thing in gear. Now the next thing you're going to do, before you put your seat on and you finish it all up, you want to make sure the batteries are connected. So we're going to pull this cover off. This cover pulls right off. Okay, you can see how it comes right off. And if you look inside of here, you can see the batteries are not connected. Okay, so what you have to do here Plus you have your cable right here for your joystick. So this has to come out from the, from under the, through that hole right here. Okay, we're back. I was a little confused myself, but if you look inside your chair and you don't get nervous, you'll be able to figure it out. There's two cables right here. These two cables right here, they're, they're female cables. And you have a, a cable for each battery right here. So if you look, so what you do, you're gonna take the back battery, you're gonna plug it in this cable and you're gonna shove it in here so it's not in the way, okay? You're going to take the front cable and plug into that other cable right here. And you're going to shove it, you're going to click it, push it until it clicks. Then you're going to shove it in here like that so it's out of the way. Okay? All the way in there like that. So it's not restricting anything. The only thing you have left now is your joystick cable. And that cable right here has to come through here. Okay? If you don't do that before you put the cover on, you'll have to take the cover back off and that'll be a problem. Okay, so now we've got the chair, we have power, everything's connected. 
what we're going to do now, we're going to take our seat. I'm going to take the I'm going to take the plastic off the seat while I'm out here. All right. I'm going to take the headrest off, do it the right way, take the plastic off, put that over there, pull the plastic off the back, okay, we've got it. This is a captain C, so I'm going to fold it down for now, so I can you can see the bottom. Okay, you're going to bring this chair, and you're going to put the seat on the post like this, and it'll slide right down. But you notice right now how the seat just swivels. A lot of people call me, and they don't understand this part. Here's what you have to do: before you put it down on the pole, before you put it down on the pole. Grab this handle right here and hold it up. You have to let that little, that little lock right there come up. So hold it up, put it on the pole, and then it'll lock, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna unlock the seat. You can see now, it, it, it only goes to one side because it's a swivel seat. So it goes this way, it doesn't go that side because you'll be twisting your cables, okay? so. You can see how it's locked. So you have to do that when you drop the seat on. We're going to put the headrest on. Now the next thing we have is our arms. So the owner's manual is inside the box with the arms, okay? So your owner's manual is with the arms. I'm gonna put that in the back of the seat. So you're gonna take your arms, these arms are two-piece arms, so you're gonna take them out of here. And what you do is you put this under here, and you put this in here, and the next step you do, you see how loose that is? There's a knob under here you can tighten it up with an Allen wrench, okay, right under there. And I'm going to tighten up this knob, which I'll do. It'll take the, I can adjust the height. I'm just going to leave them out at a standard height. I'm going to tighten this up. And what I'm going to do, you're going to need an Allen wrench like this, like this one, because there's an Allen screw right under here that you'll have to tighten up, because if not, the, the arm can come out, okay? So... I'm going to tighten it up, and now we have no more play. So, you do have a safety belt that comes with it. So the safety belt will mount on your chair. Uh, well, technically, you're supposed to mount the safety belt before you put the arm on. So you'll take the arm off, you'll take your safety belt, and you'll run it in here like this at, on the pole. Should be simple, shouldn't it? And that's it. Then you're gonna tighten up your pole again with your island wrench. I'm gonna put the safety belt in the back pocket right here for now. And the other side will be the same way. We're gonna take your arm. You have two piece arms here. And you're gonna put your piece in here, like I said on the other side. You're gonna put your arm in, get the height that you want, tighten it up. Oh, before you tighten it up under here, again, you wanna run, you wanna run your, your strap through the loop right here. Through the arm, and then you put your arm under here and your strap is there and then you tighten up the allen screw that's under here and as a matter of fact in your 
in your bag, they will give you the Allen wrench right here. So your tools to adjust this is in the bag with the owner's manual. I just realized that I didn't have to use my own. So everything's provided for you to make it as easy as possible. I'm going to put the belt in the back pocket. Now the next thing you have left to do is put your joystick on either arm. So if you're right-handed, right side. If you're left-handed, left side. So we have our joystick here. So again, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put it on the end of the arm. It's going to slide to the end. You're going to take your Allen, your Allen screw and your, and your tool bag, and you're going to tighten this up over here. They should provide you with the right size. And you're going to tighten up that screw, because if you don't, it's going to be, you can extend it anywhere you want, as high as you want. You're going to extend it. Okay. Now we've got the joystick installed. Now you've got the cable here. You're going to take the little tie downs off the cable. So now you've got your cable. You're going to run your cable inside the arm like this under the chair. And if you watch right here, remember that cable up front, the cable that we pulled out from the chair, you're going to take these two cables and you're going to plug them together. Okay. Now the only thing you have left to do is um, you need to tie that cable under the arm right here with some tie downs. Okay. They provide you with a couple in here. They provide you with one. No, they provide you with two. Okay, so there's two of them in there. They don't look like there's two, but there is two. I'm half blind. So you take your cables, okay? And you, you can go under the, under the bar here, like I'm doing. If you're... And then you can run, the, run it this way. and then tie it with a tie down on the other side. So now we've done pretty much the whole demonstration on the chair. Now what we have left to do is turn the power on, see if this thing, see if this thing works. What do you know? Everything's lit up. We're on the fifth speed. We're going to lower it down to third speed or second speed right here. And we're going to see if it moves. And what do you know? It moves. Okay. That noise you hear is this garbage. So, and you have a rear foot plate, and if you swivel the seat this way, all the way around, now you'll be driving this, this, the opposite direction. Now it's to become a front wheel drive instead of a rear wheel drive. And if you bring the seat back this way, now you've got a rear wheel drive with front wheels in the front. The electronics will switch over when you switch the seat around. So this is the Merits P312 Dueler. This is the newest model. This is the, they, this model just came out a couple months ago. It's the Merits P312 Dueler. And this one has a seat lift. And to make the seat go up, you would go to your joystick right here. And there's a button right here. So if you hit that button, you'll see the lights. When those lights light up on top of your button, where it shows a picture of the seat, now you use, your, you use your joystick and you can see the seat going up right now. And the chair will drive as I'm driving right now with the seat elevated, it will drive. So I hope this demonstration was helpful to you guys. Um, again, this is the Dueler, the Merits. P312, very small compact chair with a seat lift. You can drive it rear wheel or front wheel drive. And this one has a real nice 18 by 18 seat. It's just a gorgeous power chair. Uh, we have these always on sale, so give us a call. We'd be glad to help you out. Hopefully this demonstration was helpful. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.